Israel keeps getting more murderous. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. In the span of just a few hours, we learned that Israel committed a horrific massacre at Al-Shifa Hospital, struck an Iranian consulate in Syria killing multiple Iranian military officers, and killed a vehicle full of international aid workers in an airstrike. This murderous regime is out of control. Israel is so dedicated to protecting civilian life that it is deliberately gunning down unarmed Palestinians whenever they walk within firing range and then adding them to its Hamas terrorists killed tally. Haaretz reports that the IDF has set up kill zones in Gaza where they just shoot anything that moves, with an IDF reserve officer saying the number of Hamas members Israel claims to have killed is massively inflated because, in practice, a terrorist is anyone the IDF has killed in the areas in which its forces operate. Haaretz notes that the three escaped Israeli hostages the IDF gunned down in December had wandered into one of those kill zones. A Doctors Without Borders physician went on Sky News to talk about Israel's deliberate destruction of Gaza's healthcare system, and the Murdoch shill anchor who was interviewing her asked her if Hamas was active in the Al-Shifa hospital fighting Israelis. The doctor, Tanya Haj Hassan, told him, I am just shocked that we're still having this conversation, and went on to describe how Israel's assault on Gazan healthcare workers is so methodical that Gazan hospital staff have been changing out of their scrubs before leaving work because Israeli troops are picking off anyone in scrubs. At the beginning of the year, I tweeted, Gaza is a live laboratory for the military-industrial complex. Data is with absolute certainty being collected on all the newer weapons being field-tested on human bodies in Gaza, just like has been happening in Ukraine, to be used to benefit the war machine and the arms industry. Since then, we have learned that the IDF has been experimenting with new military robots in its Gaza assault, and that Israeli startups are now looking to start exporting new AI-powered war machinery marketed as having been battle-tested in Gaza. Israel is a synthetic, artificially created state. It did not arise organically from the naturally existing conditions of the land and its people. It was unnaturally forced into existence by outside powers. It is more synthetic than meth. It is more synthetic than Pete Buttigieg, normal person. Stop doing genocide, crazy person. But the TV told me rape happened six months ago. Netanyahu live streams himself kicking a Palestinian baby off a cliff. Netanyahu staring into camera. I kicked a Palestinian baby off a cliff because I hate Palestinians and I want to genocide them. State Department Press Corps. Any comment on the video of Netanyahu kicking a Palestinian baby off a cliff and saying he wants to commit genocide? State Department spokesman Matthew Miller, smirking. Uh, I haven't seen that video, and I can say that we're looking into it and we're in touch with our counterparts in Israel on this issue. Beyond that, I would only reiterate our position that claims that Israel is committing genocide are unfounded and anti-Semitic in nature, and I have nothing further to add at this time. I've been mentally referring to Matthew Miller as Smirkula. Another one of the extremely stupid things Israel apologists ask us to believe is that Israel was right on the cusp of agreeing to give Palestinians a state before October 7th, but because of October 7th, that generous prospect is now off the table. Rightists who see through the empire propaganda on the Ukraine proxy war but unquestioningly swallow all empire propaganda about Gaza are even dumber than people who've swallowed both, because they're just letting their favorite political faction do their thinking for them. They're also dumber because they saw and understood that the mass media churn out propaganda constantly, but still assumed we're being told the truth about Gaza. They broke out of the propaganda matrix, then jacked their minds right back into it. They're like someone who pulled his head out of his ass, looked around, and then shoved it right back in. If only the Democrats who rallied so aggressively against a fictional conspiracy between Trump and Russia could harness that same energy to oppose a real genocide by Biden and Israel. Just ignore anyone who condemns Israel's genocidal atrocities in Gaza but still supports Biden. Their Israel-Palestine rhetoric is just for show.